Here he is, Joe Moyne QC. Thank you very much. In 2008, we faced a crisis. Our financial system, greased to the structures that delivered us food and housing and employment, lay on the brink of collapse. But we rescued it and were saved a devastating depression. And then we carried on. And now we face another threat. And maybe we will, and maybe we won't leave the EU. But either way, in a decade's time, there will be another crisis again. A society in decline dies a thousand deaths. And if you travel down from Liverpool this morning, if you live in Blackpool, if you live in Sunderland, if you've come from Wales, if your infrastructure has been left to rot, as the South continues to thrive, but your own wages fall, if you've waited longer to see your GP and longer for the bus to her surgery, society for you has died many deaths already. 2008 should have opened our eyes, but it didn't, and we fell back to complacency. Now, Brexit won't arrest the decline. Brexit buys it a new suit and a slap-up dinner. Brexit introduces it to your cute cousin and gives it something for the weekend. Brexit won't arrest the decline. But Brexit isn't the decline. Brexit is what the decline has de delivered. And the decline is a decline in the courage of our politicians. We have seen what happens when we leave it to them to fix the problems. Why pick up a can if you can kick it down the road? Why choose the public interest if you can pursue your own? Why face the problems of tomorrow if you can take refuge in the past? So what do we do? In the 60s and the 70s, the personal became political. Women looked to collective action for lives of quality. Now, we must apply that adage in reverse. We must make the political personal again. We must, you must, take responsibility. And there's no universal prescription for what that looks like. You have to find one yourself. If you're a student, perhaps you volunteer in a care home. If you're wealthy and a parent, perhaps you decide to send your children to a state school so that they can experience the lives of others. If you're an empty nester, perhaps you work with a refugee charity to help another human being build and live a decent life. Look out for one another. Look local. From our politics, something better may yet come. And I hope that it does. But you cannot rely on these politicians to fix our problems. They have not, and they will not. Still, here we are, well over a year on from the referendum, tens of thousands of us, and we're engaged, and we're not complacent, but whatever happens, whether we leave or we stay or we find some traditional British way to muddle through, don't forget how the last 18 months made you feel. Don't repeat the mistakes of 2008. Be Jean Monnet, an architect of the EU. I am not optimistic, he said. I am not pessimistic. 
I am determined. Thank you very much.